Hey guys, what's going on? Time for a random LP. Welcome to Let's Play Peach and Daisy in the Ultimate Quest. I know absolutely nothing about this hack, other than it's a hack of Super Mario Bros. 3, if you couldn't tell. Or I guess you play as uh, Peach and Daisy. Wow, doesn't that sound interesting? I've never even seen this before, so I know nothing about it. Apparently it was made in 1999 by a big Eli King. Okay, well, let's uh, see what's going on here. Wow, this looks interesting. You started at the castle. Is that a level or what? Apparently it is. Wow, it looks like it's an, <clears throat> an ice level. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm gonna... This is a hack, so I will be using save states. So why don't I uh, start doing that? <laughs> so the coins look pretty unique. Ow. It's kind of interesting. They kind of changed the design of the coins. And, um, it's just kind of interesting playing as freaking Peach in, like, a Super Mario Bros. 3 game. It's, uh... Whoa. Boy, those guys are showing up a little early, aren't they? I'm at the fire, guys. Why don't you come down and jump into the water? And he does! Goodbye. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I'm... I don't know how often I'm gonna be doing this LP. Uh, probably whenever I have extra time, I'll record an episode of it. The videos probably won't be extremely long or anything, but, uh... Yeah. Basically, I'm mainly doing this because I have a lot of extra time tonight, so I might as well do something. <laughs> you know? Oh, so that wasn't too bad. So I don't know if this hack is supposed to be, like, really difficult or what, but... So far, it doesn't seem too bad. But what the hell? What the hell? Am I a mermaid? What the heck? Is this basically supposed to be the frog suit? Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> wow. Alright. Interesting stuff going on. Okay, we got a raccoon suit. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well. It's fine. Excuse me. Get out of my way, buddy. I'm uh, freaking trying to make my way through here. I don't need you swallowing me up. That definitely wouldn't be a good thing. Looked like he was falling through the freaking thing. Ah! Oh, don't be doing that now. Freaking thing. There we go. That's more like it. Okay. So it's kind of interesting music for this level. <laughs> designs are kind of interesting. You know? Whoa. And the piranha plants look kind of different. It's kind of cool, I guess. Hmm. Do I see what could be a hidden block? You can sort of see an outline of something. Yep. Sure can. So that's pretty cool, I guess. So I'll probably post this video tonight. It's 10.55 right now, so I'll probably just con let this convert after... Right, right after I record it, and then just post it. Little bonus video for today. Or for early tomorrow. Whatever works, I guess. Alright. So these levels, they're definitely nowhere near the difficulty of Cube Root of 3. That's pretty safe to say. Oh boy, look, look at this craziness. There seems to be a lot of feathers and leaves in this game. Oh boy, don't even go there. We got some interesting looking potoboos. Oh boy. Some pretty crazy stuff going on. 
another reason I'm doing this is because this hack was actually sent to me by uh, somebody. Uh, I'm not even sure if they're even on YouTube, but someone sent me like a uh, a zip file with a buttload of Super Mario Brothers 3 hacks on it, and this was one of them. And uh, there's actually an I think an earlier version of this same hack right here that looks a little bit different. Apparently this is a newer version of it, so I figured I would do that. Which I think it is. I don't know. Whatever. So, um, yeah. And there's like a whole bunch of like hacks of Super Mario Bros. 3 that were in that zip folder thing, and uh, a lot of them are really stupid. But, uh, some of them actually looked like they could be kind of cool. Like this one. This one's pretty interesting. Well, I guess we got, like, donut lifts. We got, like, some kind of brick wall kind of thing. And a conveyor belt. Well, holy crap, there's two boom booms. What the hell? What's that all about? Oh, wow. That's interesting. What the hell? Like, I got, like, stuck. And they drop, like, keys. I think it kind of makes more sense to find a key at the end of one of these fortresses since you're breaking open a lock, you know, other than, you know. kind of makes more sense, in my opinion, but... Whoa. Got a chomp plant. Shooting fireballs for some reason. What's the deal with that, man? So I guess, like, if you were playing two-player, the second player would play as Daisy. I guess that's pretty much how it would work, which makes sense, and the these switches look kind of interesting. I feel like al almost everything looks at least a little different. <clears throat> in some way, even if it's just a color. I, I kind of like the way the P-meter looks in this game. It has kind of like a... a, uh... almost like a power bar kind of thing. I don't know. I, I kind of like that a little bit. Whoa. That looks pretty unique. Looks all green and whatnot. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, so... L l let me know what you guys think of this hack. If you like it, if you think it looks retarded, you know, if you want to see more of it, if you don't want to see any more of it, you know. Because if you want to see more of it, I could always do more of it, you know? Which maybe I will. Maybe this will be the only video of it. Who knows? Freaking thing. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm not, like, stopping Q-Bruta 3 or anything like that. I mean, obviously I'm still going to be doing that. In fact, I'll probably be recording an episode of that tomorrow, but I'm just kind of doing this as, like, a little side, random project thing, whatever. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that was kind of cheap. Gee, freaking invisible coin block. Kind of reminds me of freaking horrible 8-3 from the Lost Levels. Ugh. I don't want to think about that crap. Jeez. Alright, so there you go. Wasn't too bad. Now, the kind of cool thing about this is the levels aren't extremely impossible like some other hack I'm doing. That'll remain nameless. You know, so it's almost like... I mean... It seems to be harder than the original Super Mario Brothers 3, but... It didn't seem like extremely difficult where you just want to chuck the controller at the monitor, you know? It seems manageable. I probably don't even need to use save states that badly, but I will anyway, just cause... Just cause it's a hack, and you know, it'll speed things along, I guess. That kind of thing. I don't know, plus it might get extremely difficult at some point. You never know, I don't know. Freaking thing? What the hell, man? Well, that was exciting. Goombas? What are you doing? Are you respawning Goombas? 
Get out of here, man. Nobody wants to see your ass. I kind of like the little design thing it shows when you, when you get a point thing, like a hundred points. It kind of has a little charm to it, I guess. Whoa. Falling in the hole, Peach. Fireball, Peach. <laughs> Whoa. Do I need to get up there or something? Whoa. That looked kind of cool. Had like a nice little effect. What the heck? Is there something in one of those blocks? Because it's like not letting me go through, but you, I still end up getting it. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's some kind of glitch? I don't know. No, there's nothing in that one either, so I don't know. It's like when you try to go through a coin that was originally a block, it, I don't know, it kind of like stops you a little bit. It's kind of weird, but I guess we need to go up here, maybe? Oh, screwed that up. Ah, uh, is that where I need to go? I guess that's where I need to go, or something, I don't know. Seems that way. Ah, come on, what are you doing? Knock it off. Seriously, man. What are you doing? Come on, peeps, there you go. Alright. Good stuff. Oh boy. This almost has like a, kind of a Metroid kind of look to it. Almost. The dark red and whatnot. Okay, that just takes you back there. There's something we need to do in here? Some kind of passageway we can go, or what? Well, these these levels start off somewhat complex. Where it's not just, you know, going from point A to point B. There's, like, different ways you can go and stuff. I kind of like that, you know? It's kind of... It's kind of interesting, I gotta say. Okay, the freaking Paragoon was just freaking floating there. Ah! I don't know if I want to be back here, but whatever. I don't know. I don't know if there's something... I don't know, maybe it's just nothing. Maybe it's just takes you back here for no apparent reason. Just to mess with you. Ah! Freaking Paragoomba? What are you doing, man? What are you doing that for? I don't understand it. Okay, I did not want to do that, man. So I think I need to go back up to the top there, but this time, don't go, uh... You know, uh... Friggin' thing, was I trying to say? Don't go in into that pipe. I think we need to jump across there. First we need to get back up there. So, I'm gonna try to do that here. Top part's green, for some reason. Whoa. <laughs> Look out. I don't know, man. Crazy stuff. <laughs> Whoa. Crazy. What the hell? Okay, I can stand on these Goombas. What the hell's... What's that about? What's going on here? What is this? Hmm. Okay, I guess they're stuck in blocks. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or if that's just a glitch, but... That's the way it is, I guess, so... Whatever. I don't know. Some crazy stuff going on here. Alright. Whoa! Jeez, man, what the hell? Okay, I guess at the end of the level, it's kind of weird, but whatever. Get off of me, man! What are you doing? We go up here? Ooh! Supposed to fly up here? Is there something up there, or what? Hmm, I don't know, man. Is this going somewhere? Uh, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop this video after this level, I think. There's gonna be nothing else here. So there you go. Good stuff. What the hell? There's like a boo. Is supposed to be like the card game? Surprise! I've got a new game! How's your memory? Okay. <laughs> Interesting design for the cards. Alright, so I'm just gonna finish this up and we'll call this an, a video. 
Anyway, this is Lancer signing out of Let's Play Peach and Daisy in the Ultimate Quest. <laughs> yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you don't, uh, well, it's too bad, I guess. Uh, again, let me know, you know, if you want to see more of this LP. If you don't, well, maybe I won't do any more. If you do, I probably will do more, you know, whatever. <coughs> Whatever, I mean, you guys are the ones watching it, so if you don't want to see it, let me know. And uh, if enough people don't want to see it, maybe I won't do any more, you know? Maybe this will just be a one video thing. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode if there is one. Maybe there will be, maybe there won't, I don't know, but I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.